you see that and talk about that extra kick of speed. What can you do to counteract it? Well, we'll go back uh, now and we'll obviously spend some time just talking about the moding and, and things we can do. But uh, we're really uh, you know, we're, we're scratching the, uh, the barrel a little bit now to, to make a, a game like that in those um, conditions. You know, I think um, a lot of it comes down to systems um, and being able to control uh, the falling up and that stuff. And, uh, you know, there's certain options we can look at, but it's um, you know, it's going to be hard to suddenly find the extra two or three knots of speed that they've, uh, they've managed to find. Oh, you're still being optimistic though, what are your grounds for that? Well, you know, we have to wait and see what conditions we get. Um, you know, we, I haven't spoken to clouds yet, so I don't know exactly, you know, whether the forecast that they just talked about then is right or whether it's going to be slightly less, but you know, I think if, the, um, if, the, if it is slightly lighter conditions, then uh, I think we've got a much better shot of it. So I think the first race the boat was going well. Uh, it, I think it was a definitive crossover and get up to that sort of 20 knots of wind. Dean, uh, you've got to rally the troops again knowing that. What do you do? Well, you know, the guys are, you know, incredibly upbeat. You know, it's um, frustrating, you know, obviously to, to watch a lead that we had diminish. But, you know, this morning it was a best of, uh, you know, we were two up in a best of five. You know, tomorrow it's just a, it's a sudden death, you know, and it's, um, we can definitely go out there and win. How do you feel being part of whatever happens with being history in the making? I mean, it's, 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 is this the pinnacle? Well, it depends which side of uh, the side of the pinnacle you end up on. But um, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think anyone's going to be thinking about the outcome. All, all we're going to think about is how we can best prepare for the racing tomorrow. Dean, have, has Team New Zealand had any suspicions about this vast improvement that Norfolk have been able to bring out? Have you been able to question anything that they've done? Well, you know, there's a, there's a process in place with measurers, you know, they obviously check um, both boats every day and go through and, you know, make sure that the boat's compliant and, and everything else, so, you know, we have no reason to believe that you know, it's not through, you know, developing systems as well. Dean, is there anything that you've noticed that's particularly, that, that Oracle have done, that I've upgraded their boat to become a different boat? Um, there's nothing visually um, that you can see which really uh, you know, changes it you know, in terms of the way um, the boats are so complex with the hydraulic systems and board control, brake control and all that sort of thing. And being able to master that is really the key to, to the foiling. And, you know, they've um, obviously uh, developed their system in the, to a point where they can control it uh, better than what we can. I mean, you guys really develop you know, the upwind foiling. Where, where have they taken it further from where you were? Well, right. you know, the, the big thing is with the up and falling, it's um, a low ride height and being stable. And, you know, we, we achieve it for periods of time, but not, not as sustained as what they are managing to do. So you did take them to the jury over the sort of stored power issue. Is that issue dead and buried now? Yeah, no, that, we just questioned an interpretation that the measure has put out. Um, we didn't really see it as, um, you know, as a being completely right the interpretation but it was um, you know, they went through the process and it was determined to be fine so you know it it's certainly not an issue that we've uh, been looking at. Dean after the first start today and the brilliant second start it's a bit like uh, an all-black goal kicker missing an easy kick and then kicking a difficult one or a golfer H how could you turn your mind around so well to do so well on that second start? Well you obviously get pretty pissed off with yourself and, uh, and then come out firing you know and um, you know I think it's got to make sure that Someone gives me a kick up the ass before we go sailing tomorrow. <laughs> Dean, you've talked about staying upbeat and it seems you're doing a good job of that, but with all the disappointments, not just today, but the three races you were ahead and it was called off, how do you stay upbeat? Um, you can't look backwards. You, know, you just have to look forwards now. There's nothing you know, nothing that we can do about the opportunities and the races that we you know, we lost. It was incredibly cruel uh, at the time, particularly the one with the time limit right now. You know, but, you know, I've got to be very careful. We never sort of let that be the moment that you know change the, the the history as such. So you know, we we can still control our destiny, and it's, um, it means we're going to have to be on our game tomorrow. You know, we can't be asleep in the in the start. We have to make sure we get off the line and uh, make sure we keep ourselves in the race. You got port tomorrow. Yes, yep, you've got port entry tomorrow. Yeah. So you know, that, hopefully that's uh, that's a good thing. Dean, was that those conditions today? Was that the sweet spot? Do you think for Oracle's upwind foiling? I think in the slightly more breeze in that second mile, we had uh, averaging around 20 or thereabouts, and uh, you know, they certainly seem to have a, uh, another gear on that stuff. And we saw you in the first race, a big surge on the downwind. I think the second downwind, 40 odd knots. You closed the gap. 
considerably. Do you feel like you, you can take them downwind? Yeah, well, there's not a lot in it downwind. I think we've seen over and over, there's, you know, whoever's in front tends to sort of gain a little bit here and there. Um, but uh, yeah, the boats are very, very even downwind, and you know we still think in some conditions upwind that we're still slightly better than them. But you know they've done an amazing job, and you have to give them credit. They they've really improved the performance of that boat. Are we up for more fireworks in the pre-start tomorrow? Yeah, well, again, we're not going to overthink it. You know, we're going to make sure we execute the, the plan as we uh, as we want to do it, and uh, and then you know, see what plays out from there. Sixteen to eighteen knots, best for you tomorrow. Well, look, it's, you know, I think 20, uh, you know, if we get in that 20, 20 plus stuff again, we'll obviously have our work cut out for us. Um, you know, I think we'd need a pretty decent lead at the bottom to, to be able to keep batting them off, but you know, there's definitely things we can do better. Um, and we'll, uh, we're not certainly not going to roll over and uh, you know, walk away from it. We'll fight all the way to the end.